sometime we would also like to see um, yeah the next question would be that how how will we compile how will we run or how we will simulate so what are these three different things what does uh, each of them mean compile means because it's a, a high level language so we need to compile it we need a compiler and after compilation uh, the execution would be formed executable would be formed and that executable once we will run that run is also called simulation because we are simulating the hardware behavior so how do we compile run and simulate the hardware model now because the language is specific the software which would compile run and simulate are also uh, are, are different and uh, basically more specific to those languages now there are multiple of these commercial tools which are there which are uh, usually uh, there are a um, couple of eda companies electronic design automation companies they they build they design these software and we can use these softwares to to uh, compile run and simulate so um, these big three or four eda companies mentor graphics has a model c which is quite popular uh, very low compiler and very low simulation tool and cadence has incisive synopsis has vcs and jilinx has vivado so we would be using jilinx vivado at some stage of time whenever you will come back in the campus so uh, we because vivado not only would be able to uh, compile and simulate but it would also be able to synthesize so after using synthesis you can uh, burn that uh, design onto fpga ports so once you are back so then we can have uh, these FPGA ports experiments. The other uh, these commercial tools will have many um, many more features like it it help you quite a lot in in your debugging and visualization. Uh, on the other hand, there are free softwares which can uh, which can be used for compilation and simulation. So in case of uh, very log, iKeras is a popular one which can be used and for uh, GSDL is another one which is only for VSTL. There are some online platforms also like EDA Playground. So EDA Play Playground help you to uh, write this um, uh, very low code onto an online browser where you can compile, you can simulate um, all the online. Um, no. Yes, I can always pose no issues. So I come in ten minutes. I will be on post. Yeah, I'm on the Okay. So uh, now the we uh, during this course we would be using free HDL simulators, iKeras, most of the time. And um, so this iKeras software you can install onto your computers. I'll give a quick demo onto uh, using my computer. So, uh, because we would be compiling it using a um, iKeras software, it's it's a command line tool. Now, uh, to view the waveform, we have to explicitly dump these waveforms and then see them in a waveform viewer. So, uh, to see or to add to dump the waveforms, we have to add additional initial module uh, in our test bench in the initial uh, in that initial module we'll write initial begin dump file and the name of the file and then uh, one particular command is sufficient dump vars so this dump vars whatever variable it finds in in your whole module test bench it will dump all of them in that um, vcd file vcd is a uh, value code dump so this this would be a, a dump file which can be used to see our waveforms so now let us quickly look at the demonstration so i'll give you two demonstration one uh, based on eda playground and the second one based on uh, uh, in your uh, own installation of iKeras. so let's say this this code I'll, i'm directly using the code which i have written and uh, let us see that in the browser so uh, let's have a quick understanding of this EDA playground. You can see on one side you are writing your design. Uh, design is being saved as design.sv because um, 
system verilog sv is the extension for system verilog because system verilog is a is a hmm, superset of uh, verilog so that's why by default uh, eda playground take it like a dot uh, sv extension and then we have written the same code here and uh, this code uh, similarly testbench dot sv is also written so this is also the similar thing what we have written you will see two initial modules one initial modules have all the um, all the stimulus part the other uh, stimulus other initial module dumps the uh, variables so on the left pane you can see that whether your design is of uh, verilog system verilog or vhdl so because we are using a uh, verilog and system verilog part so um, there is no uvm ovm and there is no other libraries which are used so uh, here in tools and simulators you can see there are various commercial softwares and then also free simulators so in free simulators we are we would be using the latest version of icares and uh, uh, we cannot use this uh, commercial software because all of them are are paid and requires uh, some license fees so let us use the latest version of icares is the software and then after doing all of these things then um, we can also say that after running we would like to open in ep wave so that we can see the waveforms so after all of these things are done we can save it and we can run it so after running you will see two things one uh, that you will see a waveform viewer in this waveform viewer you have four signals r a r b uh, w carry w sum a b carry and sum and uh, you can see the input and output of all of them at point uh, you see that at, at exactly at 10 nanoseconds when we have changed our input our output got changed immediately so this is how um, what this is the meaning of our assigned statements that it changed our output immediately so uh, similarly at any particular point of time now we can check what is the input uh, and correspond corresponding to that input what is the output so uh, now we can close this and if we close this then we see that on in the log or in the test uh, in the uh, prompt you see that these variables have been displayed or basically these print statements have been uh, have been given a equal to 0 b equal to 0 sum equal to 0 comma carry equal to 0 so all of these things are, are are written in the same way the way format we have defined so this is how we can use eda play playground so you can sign up in this eda playground and you can use the other alternative you can install this icares onto your own computer and then and and then can work so let us see that part of demo as well so i have created one directory here and then i will start with the installation part so during the installation first thing i have to do is i have to uh, get it from the github so the uh, statement command is git clone git github i uh, steve I care as I verilog dot git. So after getting this git, then I see that I one directory has been created I verilog, and in this directory there are so many files. We have to see how do we um, how do we start configuring. There is one particular sh file which is called autoconf dot sh. So first we'll run this autoconf dot sh autoconf.sh and after this we see again then we see that there is another um, another file which has been created which is configure now we will uh, run this configure file so after running this configure a make file would be generated So if we see again now a make file has been generated so this make file we can use to make or to compile uh, this whole software it will take a couple of seconds
yes now we see it is done and uh, now we can install this iverilog into our computer so for installing we can write make install so when we say make install it says uh, error because permission is denied so there are two alternative for this either we use if we have a root permission onto our system then we do uh, sudo make install otherwise we define the directory where it need to be defined uh, it need to be installed and that uh, directory should have permissions so after installing now we can uh, see that uh, this has been this has been installed and now we can uh, start using it so uh, if for for using it i have created uh, i have again downloaded the same file uh, which i have created this i have created the same file so you see ha.v is the half header module which uh, which defines the uh, data flow model of our half header and we have in ha.testbench we have uh, the test bench which provide the stimulus which instantiate the half header and uh, it also dumps our vcd files so now given this half header files so first thing we have to do is we have to compile them and for compiling the command would be i very log so i very log uh, then we list all the files which we need to compile and the after compilation step then you see one a dot out has been created so this is the executable which has been created if we run this executable then all the uh, execution has happened so basically all the um, uh, stimulus is given to our test bench uh, uh, stimulus which is generated in our test bench is given to our uh, design under test module and you see that at every time it says that at um, what are the values of uh, sum and carry so it looks correct because um, a equal to 0 b equal to 1 sum should be 1 and carry should be 0 so in the uh, other similar way so all the combinations are giving us correct result so let us see uh, the output uh, along with that uh, so this output whatever we are writing in dollar display that would be given on the prompt or basically uh, would be generated here itself along with because uh, we have also gen written uh, dump wares and we have generated a vcd file so this vcd file is here so um, if we would like to see this vcd file this is actually uh, this is actually a text file but we can see this text file um, only using some particular editor or some particular tools so gtk wave is a popular tool which can be used to see this vcd file so uh, let us see this vcd file using uh, gtk wave uh, if gtk wave is not installed onto your system first you have to install gtk wave and then you can use that to uh, run or to see this particular waveforms so um, gtk wave has been started in gtk wave i can see um, there are these are the four signals which are there in ha.tv and um, i can use any of them i can append them in my signal waveforms so uh, here i can see these signals that uh, for um, initial 0 to 10 nanosecond that uh, all the values were 0 and after that after 10 nanosecond uh, values has been changed ra and rp has been changed and uh, so the our output is also changed on the other hand if i want to see my signals inside ha.inst that means that particular instance of half header then i can select those signals also and then append them in my signal uh, viewer or gtk wave viewer so there also i can see the similar signal so you can use uh, this gtk wave to view the waveforms and you can use dollar display to print all the outputs uh, and this is how we will see how uh, um, we can write in very low so in summary in today's uh, module what we have seen that how <coughs> how we can write a very simple program 
like a uh, half header in in verilog and uh, the learning style so because verilog is is going to be a uh, is a quite a uh, lang quite a uh, complete language extensive language which has a lot of syntax so what we will do is we will uh, pick and choose small syntax like uh, this we have uh, figured out couple of these things today and so we'll use these things and we'll create our modules using this and um, we'll have similar demos or similar um, uh, explanations whenever we introduce a new new syntax in in verilog and then um, we can practice it by creating our own modules and that's how we would be learning a very long so it would be learning by by doing rather than um, treating it, it like a language where we will first uh, define we learn all the syntax and then we apply so rather than that we would um, we'd see that in what application we can use that syntax and then we will learn accordingly thank you very much mm -hmm.